My name is Gladys Chepkiring at Teach. Um, uh, 27, year, 27 years old, currently doing PhD at the University of Oxford. I'm doing PhD in Aerospace Engineering. Uh, this is my fourth year. I'm supposed to finish before the end of the year. This is Olunguroni and this is where I was born and raised. I studied in local primary school here and um, went to Kericho for high school, went to Jinkwad for university. I did my primary school from 97 to 2004 at Lelebe Primary School, a small, a small school, um, just local primary school. We were going to school bare feet all the time. It was normal. Teachers could not even converse in English themselves. So we used to be taught in Kalenjin, which was uh, easy. We could understand. But the problem was during exams, then you struggled to read and understand. Because of that, I scored 298. I was number three overall, I think, if I'm not wrong. But I was definitely the, the best girl in the school. But now the problem was joining, joining high school. Considering that in 2004, the best student had 472. And many schools rejected me. And so when I got to Massey, in as much as Massey Girls is not a big school, for me that was my alliance. And so being grateful for that, that motivated me and made me not to lose hope and, and, and be persistent. So when Napenda Kwambia students were, were dream, dream. Growing up, we didn't have a lot of students especially girls who, who, went, who went past high school. Uh, even from my primary school, I think we were only two or three who went to secondary school and then proceeded to, to colleges and uni. And so coming from that small kind of uh, beginnings where there is no strong motivation, especially in terms of role models, um, it was a struggle. And so having made it this far and coming back to see the people who I was around with all the time growing up. I'm just so happy to see them. Two of my brothers I follow closely, Gilbert and Hilary. Uh, when they went to college, uh, Gilbert went to Kisumu Polytech Polytechnic, Hilary went to Mombasa Poly. Uh, Gilbert did mechanical, Hilary did civil. And so a lot of talks around the house were engineering, physics and maths, and they would be debating and, and competing to fix things and all that. And so growing up in such kind of environment, following two brothers who, who pursued engineering, and then my dad, who was working in an engineering department in Kenya Pipeline, was an introduction to engineering, I, I must say. So Ilu is a challenge in what for shine, Ilu. The reason why I established, I co-founded Ilu with two of my colleagues uh, from campus, is we wanted to go back to where we come from. And all of us, we come from uh, small beginnings, from villages. And so when we look back at where we started and, and, just, and just the improvement and the journey we've had, we thought, hey, we can do something, we can at least go back and tell those, those uh, kids they can actually make it. Like there is, even with the limited, limited resources and lack of role models. So the plan was we approach teachers that I knew and ask them to give us a list of uh, 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 two girls actually who were doing well but they were struggling financially. Parents would just work hard to get fees and then we'll sort anything else, non-fees. <laughs> And then you to manage a beza shopping, yeah, transport, eh, so to one I see that capsa. Making it to uh, Kenya's top 40 under 40 women, it was everything really. It was uh, at the moment, it's my highest achievement in, in terms of awards or uh, recognition. So I'm just thinking at 27 and I made it to the list. It's more than I could ask for. It motivates me and, 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 and it, it confirms that you can, the sky is the limit or beyond the sky is the, is the limit. Yeah.